Thanks, Clarence. Up next, we have Sports with Patrick Murch and Alex Giraldi at the Hall of Fame. Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Sports Chat. We're here in the Hall of Fame. I'm Patrick Murch. And I'm Alex Giraldi. I'm going to kick the show off with a little cross-country talk. This past weekend, the cross-country team traveled to Emporia, Kansas for the Emporia State Planet Sub Invitational. On the women's side, the Lady Cats finished fourth with freshman Lauren Jaquay and sophomore Lindsey Brown leading the team. The Lady Wildcats are now ranked 27th nationally and number two in the hack. The men had a strong showing as well, with junior Chris Scheidemann taking 22nd overall in the 8K race. The Wildcats are now ranked second in the hack. The cross-country team is back in action when they travel to Hayes, Kansas on October 16th to compete in the Fort Hayes Tiger Open. So what can you tell us about the Baker soccer teams? Well, on the men's side, last Wednesday they traveled to Avila and ended up winning 2-0, but it was quite a crazy game because in the first 20 minutes of the game, the referee walked out of the game and just left. He couldn't handle all the pressure. So for a while there was a delay until more referees showed up, but junior Sean McAllister netted his first goal of the season by lofting it over the goalkeeper, and then Ethan Bauer secured the win in the 79th minute. On Sunday, they fortunately fell to number eight ranked William Jewell. The Cats fought a hard battle and lost two to one due to Jewell scoring on two corner kicks. Freshman Andy Griffin tallied his first goal of the season, so congratulations to Andy. And the boys will be back in action Saturday the 9th um, against number 15th ranked Benedicting. And also they will be playing Mid-America Tuesday, but results won't be available till next taping. Last Wednesday on the women's side, we lost to Avila 1-0 in double overtime, and it was a pretty rough game because we dominated, dominated them pretty much the whole game. The goalie had the game of their life. We outshot them 30-9, to so that just shows how the ball just wasn't rolling our way that game. But um, on Sunday, we traveled to William Jewell, who was ranked number 16 nationally, and we ended up tying them 2-2. We were down 2-0 at half. So it was a pretty hard battle when we came out the second half just knowing we had to beat them or at least tie. Um, Jordan Doblin scored the second goal and Christine Jansen's had the first goal. In overtime we dominated but were unable to capitalize on scoring opportunities. We will be playing Saturday the 9th at Benedicting and are hoping for another win and we also will be playing Tuesday, October 5th but results will also be available for next show's taping. So Patrick, can you tell me how football did this past weekend? Uh, yes, I can. This past weekend, the Baker football team, we traveled to Canton, Missouri to take on Culver Stockton. The outcome of the game was fairly one-sided with the Wildcats winning 63-10. to The Baker defense played very well, only allowing 10 points in the game with all 10 of those points coming in the fourth quarter. The Baker offense racked up a total of 461 total yards of offense. This brings the Wildcats record to 2-3 two on the year and 2-2 two two in conference. The Wildcats will next be in action this upcoming weekend when they play number 6 Lindenwood at Liston Stadium. This past weekend, the Baker volleyball team was also in action. Alex has more. Volleyball was at number 24 Lindenwood this past weekend and unfortunately dropped all three matches to host Lindenwood their first game. But on Saturday morning, they were able to beat Missouri Baptist 3-2 and Brooke Pryor had 14 kills that game and libero Brooke Allen tallied 20 digs, so great job girls. Later that day though, they dropped all three matches again to Columbia University who is ranked 8th. They will be back in action Tuesday, October 5th and we will have results next taping. So good luck to all the Baker sports teams this week. And this does it for us here at Sports Chat. I'm Patrick Merch. And I'm Alex Schiraldi. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, guys. This concludes our show. I'm Hannah Morris. See you next week.